You work so hard to get those fans on your Facebook page. Now, how do you keep them engaged? Welcome to Getting Geeky with your host, Gina Shrek, and the occasional special guest. Bringing you tech tips to help you build your business and navigate this new tech terrain. Buckle your seatbelt. We're getting geeky. Hi, I'm Gina Shrek. Kind of a new setting here for Getting Geeky Show for those of you who are longtime fans. I have my new giant iMac computer, and I'm experimenting with just doing the videos straight from here. So a little more relaxed uh, approach to our video chats. But today we're going to talk about Facebook engagement. How do we increase that engagement? So I have four tips for you. Now, first thing to keep in mind before we get to the tips, in social media, we really do ride the waves. You will have weeks where it's high level of engagement, and you'll have other weeks where... That's right. You'll wonder if anyone's out there. Or is something wrong with your computer? It must be broken. That's why no one's saying anything on your Facebook page or Twitter accounts. <laughs> but you will have those waves, so keep that in mind. But the first tip comes to us from the old fable, Tortoise and the Hare. Yes, there are some people that go gung-ho when they're just starting out creating their social platforms, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Google+, Pinterest. Uh, they go crazy and they post 87 times in the first week, and then you don't hear from them. It's silent. So the key is, tip number one is be consistent. You want to post on a Facebook page about two to three times. Don't go crazy with ten posts a day. People will get sick of you. And make sure if you do post two to three times a day that it's good content, it's interesting, it's helpful tips or questions. So be consistent. Make sure you're posting every single day. And here's why. Facebook is going to allow you the opportunity to have your content in front of the people who liked your page. But if they don't click on your content, after a couple times Facebook figures, oh, they mustn't be interested in the content, don't show it to them next time. So the more consistently you post, the more opportunities your fans have to see and engage with your content. Which takes us to tip number two. And that's mix up the type of content you're sharing. Perhaps a photo with a quote on there doesn't really float my boat. But the next time you post, you put a question, a, like a poll, that you're going to ask uh, for our feedback. And uh, perhaps I click on that one. Maybe the third post that you put out there is a really helpful tip that I end up sharing with my community. So you want to kind of mix it up during the day so that, again, you're raising the opportunities in which your fans can engage with you. Tip number three, and this one you hear me preach a lot about, photos, photos, photos. Facebook especially, but all the social media sites are all about the visual. That's why Pinterest is so popular. Uh, we don't know how to read anymore. We just want shiny pictures and picture books. Remember those days? <laughs> but... On Facebook especially, to get higher engagement, it has been proven, there's been many studies out there that have shown, if you have great photos, and I don't just mean any photo, great photos will get higher levels of engagement. First of all, keep this in mind. You've got your news feed with information coming to you fast and furious when you open up Facebook. What makes you stop and read a post? A bunch of text is not really calling my name. But a great photo will make me stop and then read the text that's attached. So look for opportunities to snap those pictures. Carry a camera with you at all times. Snap pictures of signs and uh, perhaps numbers or clusters of things that you see so that you can use those in a post. If I'm saying four tips, then I can put a cluster of four things. Or I can show four marbles. I can put a, a number four that I saw that was on a sign of someone's address. So look for opportunities to take those kind of pictures. And then there are some really great apps out there for your mobile devices to turn your photos into masterpieces. Look at some of my other posts here on Getting Geeky because I have some 
um, recommended apps that I use that you can add some text to your photos very easily on a mobile device. So look for ways to uh, find great photos. Again, you can use paid sources for, for royalty-free pictures like Shutterstock, iStock Photo. There's a lot of free resources as well, so check our Getting Geeky page. There's more resources there on finding places for great photos, but that's a really important tip. Tip number four. The last one for you. This one you've seen, perhaps, it's promoting some of your posts. Now, this at first kind of bothered me. Like, you know, we work hard to get fans to come to our page. Now, Facebook is kind of blackmailing us that we have to pay to allow people to see our posts. But I got over it. My anger, once it dissipated, I realized, okay, so if I want to raise the level of engagement, which again, once I can get a higher number of people seeing the content again, and then engaging with the content, it will help kind of get that ball rolling again, especially if you've been dormant for a little while. So try putting a post. Now don't just pick any post. Find one of your really great posts that you know will get a high level of engagement or shares or comments, and then choose promote that post at the bottom. For five to ten dollars on a business page, you can get that post to be seen by double, triple, even quadruple the number of people who have been seeing your post uh, typically. So, four tips to raise your engagement. Hopefully that's helpful. I'd love to hear from you if you have some other ideas on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash geeky, or check out all the resources on our website. Yeah, we actually have a normal website, Synapse Connecting, synapseconnecting.com. Until then, keep getting geeky.